We are finally in the phase five. So we are almost done with uh, the bump. We are going to start like any other phase with the disassemble of it to understand what's happening at least a little bit to ease the work from anger. And just looking into it, it's a very short uh, phase, but it has something different than the others. It, you can see here that LLDB believes that there is an array in here. We don't need to take it by the word, we can all, but we can also assume that it, it's some kind of a structure because uh, if it wasn't, uh, LLDB wouldn't um, recognize it somehow. So here is our scanf call, pretty similar to other phases. And we are going to check which kind of input this level is expecting. So we are going to do the same as in the other levels, just using LLDB for it. And the address we need is 17 EB 1B24. So let's check. So it's interesting that this level or this phase is also expecting two digits, um, which means it may might be similar to phase three. We can try to solve it the same way, even though we, we see this um, structure in here. But we can also then have a look at the structure and try to understand a little bit more. So we have no idea what it's seeing there, right? And the address is one eight one four offset one nine AC. Huh. And as you can see, it is some kind of a structure because it's starting with zero and going over until F. And we can see that it's not uh, in order. So maybe a linked list or some uh, similar structure into there. Uh, looking a little bit more into our binary, uh, we can see that it compares uh, x to f and if it's equal it jumps to 1835 1h35 is a bad jump because it goes to explode bomb so we already know that we don't want that going a bit further into the structure what's happening here um, we can see that there is a jump not equal to 1814 and what h14 is an address before this line, so it's kind of a loop that it jumps as long as not equal, uh, ax is not equal to 15. And ax is being set in here, and this is a value from our structure. As we know, there is this 15 just in here. Uh, in an F and we can assume that as soon as we reach the F we are going to break from the loop and move forward. Interesting is also that we have this compare EDX with F. EDX is a counter that it's starting from zero and adding one so which means that our loop needs to run 15 times until it gets to the F because if it doesn't, it also jumps to the explode bomb. If it is equal, it is going to compare something to ECX that is adding the values from EAX to another address that is 183a 
that it's another value that it's in the stack. So that's our input. And if it's equal, it jumps to uh, 183a. And this is just skipping the export form. So we really want to give the right sum or addition that it's going to come out from this um, loop that it's walking from here until uh, F. Because then we are just going to go down here and if it's not equal, it, oh, it calls something, but we want the return. So what we are going to do is try to solve it similar to phase three. First, we are going to start just after scanf. So scanf was here. We are going to start here, 17F0. And our target is going to be uh, the return, but before it destroys our stack. So just one instruction before, it's the 1848. Yeah. And then we are going to run a simulation with these values, just similar to phase 3. So first we create a state that it's a blank state with the start address of after scanf. Then we push into our stack symbolic values that are going to be or fake input and for this we can use again clarify page vector symbolic and create some symbolic values that are just like this with this 64 bit then we create a simulation that by now you all know how to do it um, like this and we pass as start state or created state with our symbolic values in the stack and then we create the exploration and we use as a find parameter is our target as always we are trying to avoid the bomb and we enable very testing. So Anger found uh, one state that goes until our target. We pop that value into a temporary uh, variable so that we don't lose it. And what we are going to do here is just get the um, value from the high part of it because that's the, the value that we we should not know uh, the uh, ACX in the end right uh, from for the first one we know it already it's five from reversing it so we can print it and we can see the value for the second uh, input would be 115 we push that into our um, flex file and then I'm going to test it in here. And as you can see, we diffuse one, two, three, four, five. We just solve the phase five on the binary bump.